Welcome back, fight fans. This is Ari Weiss from MMASavvy.com, and I'm here with the man, Stefan Skyscraper Struve. How you doing, man? I'm good. Man. All right. Back in LA, so I'm feeling good. Nice. So Stefan, if you, you folks didn't know, is a top UFC heavyweight contender. He's got a huge fight Saturday night, UFC 130 in Vegas. You know, so we're going to be talking about this fight. But before we get to the fight, Stefan, let's talk about why you're here in Santa Monica. Because obviously we're in sunny Santa Monica, Dynamics Martial Arts. Uh, you have three days away from leaving to Vegas. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of curious as what you're doing uh, you know, mentally and physically to prepare yourself for this. Yeah, what you said, I flew in Thursday to, uh, to get here a little early, you know, and Vegas isn't that far, it's about five hours per car, I believe. And uh, my friends Henry and uh, Anthony have a gym here, uh, Dynamics MMA, and when I'm uh, here in LA, I always train with those guys. And uh, I'm just here to get used to the time zone, the weather and stuff, and just train a little bit, get, stay busy with Anthony and Henry and do my thing and live up to the fight, so. Excellent. So let's let's shift gears to Saturday night. Yep. Okay, you're going to be fighting Travis Brown. Mm -hmm. He's undefeated. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty big, powerful guy. Heavy hands. He, mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw the Czech Congo fight. He mm -hmm. looked he looked pretty nasty. So I want to know in your camp what you've been doing in particular to train for this guy. Uh, you know, a lot of stand up stuff, groundwork. How do you how do you plan to nullify his power? Um, well, of course, you know you watch tapes on on, on people and everything, but uh, we always think me and my trainers that uh, I should use my own strengths and mm -hmm. not his, of course, his weaknesses as well, but um, work with the things you're good at, you know, use your own tools. And we're always working. I started training um, a week and a half after the fight with McCorkle. Took a little time off, come, came to Santa Monica as well. Trained with Henry and, and Anthony here a little bit. Continued training in Holland. And um, well, basically it's been a really long, you know, people call it a camp, but I'm always training. You know, I'm, I'm always training mm -hmm. up to the fight. and. Of course, in the end of the of the of the camp, you push up the cardio a bit and do some more um, strength and stuff like that to to get really ready for the fight. But I'm always training uh, both stand up, both my groundwork, wrestling, you know. And for this time, I got uh, my strength and gym conditioning coach. You know, we worked a lot for this fight. I got heavier. I weigh in about 260, 262 right now, so that's good. Wow. And um, I got a new uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach in Holland, Renko Pardul. When I'm here, I'm I'm training with Henry, but. Uh, Back in Holland, Supreme Copardul, the guy who fought in UFC too. He's really, really good, you know. Um, he's got my game up uh, a couple of levels, in my opinion. And um, yeah, but basically working on everything and getting ready for the fight. And what I said, use my own tools and improve those and try to beat him with those. So after your successful Saturday night, because mm -hmm. I'm calling he's getting this win, fight fans, okay, for Dynamics and for Alchemist. I think you're going to get this win. I'm already calling on my pick show. After you get this win, uh, you know, you're going to be up in the elite of the heavyweight division. Let's let's go back. You're 23 years old. You're what, 25 and four now? 25 and four, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, let's go back. You've been fighting what since since you were 17, I think you said. Yeah, my my first amateur fights when was when I was 16 and first pro was 17 years old. So what do you think? Uh, you know, you've already fought big names. You you were thrown right in there against JDS, again, you know, against big country. What do you think Dana saw in you? What do you think he sees in you to give you these big fights at such a young age? Um, well, they, they see that I always come to fight, you know, and they see that I improve with every fight, you know, so it's, you can, you can take a risk with someone like that, and if he's not ready yet, well, there's no rush because I'm 23 years old, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, with, with, with Roy, so, some things happened before the fight because I could have done so much better in that fight, you know, and with Junior, I wasn't ready for a guy like that back then. I was uh, turned 21 uh, two days before the fight, so, you know, wow. it's like, uh, I wasn't ready. Uh, it was um, mentally it was uh, a big test as well, you know, with all the media and the fans and the weigh-ins on a big stage. You know, yeah. you need to, need to get used to that. And right now, I'm used to it. And UFC sees uh, every time what I said. When every time I step in there, I always come to fight, and I'm all, every time I get better, uh, bigger, stronger. You know, so 
I think, yeah, they, they, they know I'm for real and they know how bad I want it, so. Yeah, so uh, let's also talk about, you know, after the fight in the future, the, you know, the ne over the next year. Um, is there anybody in particular in the heavyweight division you'd want to call out, you want to you want to fight any rematches or just or you know new new guys you want to go against or just you know the guy with the belt how do you feel about that for the future well um i've been saying it in a lot of interviews the nice thing about my age is that there's no rush and um with my age there's a possibility that i can fight everybody in every division right now you know so until i'm about 37 38 years old you know this well i think i got at least 15 more years of competition in me i think i can fight all those guys you know um, it would be an honor to fight a guy like Nogueira. I've been watching his fight since I was 12 years old, and mm -hmm. to get in there with a guy like that, that would be an honor, and it would be amazing to watch on tape for me after after the fight, you know. And for the rest, um, the losses in the UFC, I want to, you know, I want to put that straight again in some while, but again, there's no rush. I want to fight uh, Junior again, I want to fight Roy again, but there's no rush for now, and I'm just happy with the way things are going right now in my career, and I couldn't be more thankful with it, so. So let's also talk about your future. You know, you just brought up you might want to fight 15 more years. You're only 23 now, and you're already, you know, m you know, most say top 10 in the heavyweight division. Do you see, are you confident that someday, or do you see that you will definitely be UFC heavyweight champ of the world at some point in your career? Yeah, well, that's, that's the goal, and my trainer and me um, uh, discussed it, of course, a couple of times before we went to the UFC and discussed it, well, uh, we talk about it sometimes, and... We set a goal, and the, the, the belt is the goal, you know, and I'm only 23 years old, and most guys peak around their 30s, so until, you know, that time, I want to have the belt around that time, and if it comes faster than that, then it's good, you know, there's no rush, and uh, for example, if you look at Alistair Overeem when he was 23, mm -hmm. I believe he was fighting in Pride back then, he yeah. was doing good, you know, but if you look at him right now, and you know, I'm only 23, and if you... Uh, think of how um, the fighter I, I was when I was 17 years old and the fighter I'm going to be when I'm about 28, 29 with the experience, all the things I'm going to learn, how much bigger I'm going to get, how much stronger I'm going to get, you know, that's a, a, a fun um, a fun and bright future in my opinion. Stefan, thanks for coming down. No problem. Catch him live Saturday night against Travis Brown, UFC 130 in Vegas. Any last words, Stefan? Let's have some fun on Saturday. It's going to be good. So catch this video, MMASavvy.com. Come on down to Dynamics Martial Arts. Stay savvy, fight fans. All right, one, two, three.